What is up everyone? Thank you for checking out this video. So today I'm going to go over how to edit your fall photos. Okay? So here's the photo that we are going to go over. This is the before and this is the after. Okay? So you can see how drastic of a change it is. And um, I'm doing this to show you what you can do and the power of Lightroom to change colors of objects and stuff. Now, I'm going to reset this here. Okay? And so this is all gone now. And um, so I'm doing this because fall in Ohio hasn't been that great so far. So I have to make it seem like it's been great, okay? So here it is. If you want the info, this, these are my settings right here. Uh, eighth of a second, F22, ISO 100, shot with a 16, 35, F4 at 16 millimeters, okay? And now this is a little waterfall that is down about 40 minutes away from me. It wasn't flowing much today, but uh, I thought I would add a little interest with it, with this leaf right here, okay? And as you can see from the before or after photo, it does really emphasize the photo and make it more interesting. Okay, so let's begin. So first things first, we are going to edit our lens corrections, okay? And this will just fix those uh, wide angle lenses if you use those. And now I'm going to crop just a little bit. I'm not very interested about that up there. It's going to be more of the leaf and the water flow. Let's say about right there. Okay. I like that cropping a little more. And um, now it's a little dark, so we can up the exposure a little bit. And then obviously bring down the highlights. But I do like the how white the water looks. And now we can bring the shadows up probably all the way. And now let's bring up the whites. And a little tip is to hold down option and click while you drag to see your white points, making sure you're not blowing those out. Or you can just go like that too. And yeah, it's pretty good. And it's a pretty dark image, so I don't want to bring down the blacks too much. Right there is about good. Okay. And um, we are actually in mid-October, and fall is usually mid-October for Ohio, but as you can see, there are still a lot of green happening here, okay? And now what we're going to do is we can actually bring up a little contrast too, and this is probably going to be all tweaked once we get the colors going. And now let's do a little bit of tint, and of course when you change tint, you have to change the temperature. Okay, so I like that. Now my photos are very, very color temperature oriented. Okay, I love, as from my past videos, I love the warm temperature, and especially in fall photos. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. And now we can do the tone curve right here, which is very useful if you want to use it. Bring up the lights a little bit. The best practice is to try to make a nice S curve. Um, before making this video, I had a really nice one. Now this looks like just a non-straight line, but that is okay. Okay, now we can, oh, where's clarity? Clarity, I'm going to put it down. I just like the way it looks with this particular photo, okay? Because if you had too much, it just looks too, uh, too harsh. So if you bring it down, it's going to soften your whole picture. And as you can see, it is a pretty drastic change already. And now we can go to dehaze just a little bit. Just to sharpen it just a little bit, but not much. Actually, okay, there we go. So that's looking pretty good, honestly. And uh, now we can let's play with this a little bit more. I like this image to be a little darker but still emphasize the water and the leaf. Okay, so before and after. Okay, so now is the color changing part. So as you can see, there's a lot of green happening still right here and right here, but there's nice leaves going on right here, and also the big main point right here is this leaf that I found. So what you wanna do, or what you can do, is go to your green color slider, change the hue all the way to yellow. And now as you can see, it didn't do much at all. As you can see, it doesn't 
do much at all actually. But now you can go to the yellow slider here and now you can change that down to more of an orange hue. And you can see that we are getting more of a change in the green, especially up here too. And now you can go to your orange slider and just change that one just a little bit. So now you are getting more of a fall look, okay? And now what we can do also is exposure just a little bit and a little more contrast. And let's see, maybe a little bit more might be a little too much now. Yeah, it's probably good. See, like I said, I do love a lot of temperature. Okay, so this is what you have so far. And now what we can do is add in some, let's see, blue color to the water. It's looking on the show. Click on your show mask overlay. It's just looking a little brown, so just get the little parts that you can see and turn that off. And I do first like to darken it just a little bit and then get a little blue in there to make it a little less brown. Okay. And now what we can do is make a radial, uh, what is this called? Radial filter. Okay. Now the first one I did was up in this corner right here. And again, this is all personal preference and what kind of photo you took. Invert your mask, turn up the exposure just a little bit, and then of course you want to add a little temperature too. And now what this is doing is just making a point of where to look in the photo, but we're still going to make the leaf the best part to look. And this is all just really brightening up the top also. Get those really nice details. Okay, so that still looks pretty good. And now we're going to make the leaf pop a little bit more. So make the radio filter a little bit of the size of the leaf. There you go. And turn up the exposure just a little bit. Invert your mask. And as you can see, it has already changed to be pretty bright. Okay. And now what we can do also is bring up the vibrance, lots and lots of colors. This fall is the best time to get colored photos. Saturation also. Let's see, maybe bring down the exposure just a little bit. That looks pretty good. And then vignette. I also love vignette a lot. Okay, so now what we have here is the main focus on obviously this leaf right here which is definitely that, and then you have your white water leading to the waterfall. And there you go. That is pretty much it. And I would probably leave it just like that. Maybe play a little bit more with my tone curve, just to make it a better S. I had a very good one before, but that's okay. So yeah, here is the before and then the after. So it's just a really nice way to definitely pop your fall photos, especially when there's not a lot of fall foliage showing through, right, like this photo. But yeah, that is an easy way in Lightroom on how to make your fall photos pop. If you guys like this video, please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, at Nick Heller. Check out my website for prints and my gallery portfolio. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram. And also, if you guys want a website, I got 20% off your Smug Mug subscription. So please check that out. All links below, and thank you for watching. <laughs>